We're excited tonight about our community conversations. We're talking about all things school safety. We're excited to have such a great crowd, law enforcement officials, teachers, staff members, students, community partners, faith-based partners. We realize that there is an uptick in school violence across the nation. And thankfully here in Cumberland County Schools, we have great um, safety and security measures in place already. But tonight is all about strategizing with our community stakeholders and learning about some things that we can do to improve the safety for our students and staff. I attend Terry Sanford High School, and last year we were on Code Yellow for two weeks. As a student, every day it's a different anxiety that the dangers of our school are going to um, finally open up and put us in harm's way. Um, I think hurt people are going to hurt people, and the only way we can solve it is by facing the problem head on. The community members that were here tonight was most exciting for me because it shows that they're engaged and interested in keeping everybody safe. We can't think of everything, nobody can. So the more ideas we can get, the better. Uh, in Cumberland County Schools, we have a strategic plan, 2024. The community wrote that plan. It's a community plan. And in that plan, we talk about school safety. So in the environment in which we're in now, in the nation, it's important for the community that wrote that strategic plan to come back together, assess where we are in safety, and maybe there are some strategies, objectives that we need to adjust given where we are today. This forum is extremely important. Uh, we have it on a larger level with city council meetings and stuff like that. But it's, it, when you target a certain uh, lane, it makes it more important. Um, and this is about our children. This is about our future. I think school safety, one of the main things is getting to the root of the issue. At the end of the day, we need to have these measures that happens if something you know transpires at school so we need to have the sro officers we need to have you know a safety plan just in case something happens but i think it's just as important to get the, to the root of the issue and the thing is mental health addressing those mental health concerns is the most important thing because if we can prevent these people from even having these thoughts then we won't have to spend time investing money into hiring additional per personnel and professionals to deal with these issues on the heels of our very first community conversations event on school safety, we're excited to look through all of the wonderful feedback. Now we gathered students, parents, community partners, law enforcement officials, educators, board members, and we all talked about one thing, how we can keep our students and staff safe. Now we looked from the school system perspective and we received a lot of great feedback such as maybe increasing metal detectors in our schools and even talking about how we can have more safe school coordinators. In addition to thinking about things that the school system can do, we also heard from participants things that families could do at home, such as setting expectations for their young people and even monitoring online activities. Now, one of the most important conversations that we had, we talked about what are some of the underlying causes of some of the violent acts we're seeing across the country. And we had great feedback from our stakeholders. They talked about how we can support the mental health of our young people and even monitor their social media activity. And even talk about things such as consequences for actions. As you can see, we have a lot of feedback to consider, but our commitment to you is we are very serious about school safety. That is our top priority here in Cumberland County Schools. So let's talk about it. Let's keep the conversation going because together we can keep our schools safe. Thank you for your continued support of Cumberland County Schools.